Hey everybody. I think somebody maybe just laid an egg. Hi everybody, who's your... Hi everybody, who's your green thumb? And today I'm bringing you a little experiment I started last year. So you have the axillary buds, or the eyes, that are starting to sprout. And if you've left them there longer, it, instead of just one, you have many. So that's what happened when I planted the potatoes. I had many sprouting eyes. While planting, a couple of those eyes broke off into my hand. And then I was looking at my hand and I wondered, what happens if you plant these? So that's exactly what I did. March 15th, I planted the potato eyes in 12 liter buckets. And then I sat there and I waited. And I watched them grow and I was surprised to see that the plant came, but I had many friends and neighbors tell me that it's not even worth it, just leave it. Then I got curious around July 19th, or not around, but exactly July 19th. And then I checked. when I first did the first harvest and then the second harvest was September 2nd which is then four months after for the first harvest five and a half months for the second harvest so this is just a very short one to see what happens but so now it's time to see uh, what the fruits of our labor have been the other one I planted already I have my little tag here and it was the potato eye sprout from the princess and this one here is from Bellina. I waited much longer to harvest this one, even though it didn't really matter, so I'm expecting the skins to be harder on these. In this one, there were three eyes put into it. So let's see if, it, if there is a big difference between one and three. Again, that's what I like about the container garden. It's really easy to find all the potatoes you planted or that have grown. So, it's not tons, but when you think about it, it's just from putting something that breaks off in your kitchen and you just throw away and that that can actually give you something to eat. I don't think it's bad. I mean, okay, uh, the work versus the yield may not be that high, but I still think it's pretty cool that you can take next to nothing and turn it into something. That's one thing I really do love about gardening is that you can take something small, you can turn it into something tangible. It's not much, six potatoes, but when you think it comes from three eyes that you would have thrown away, it's not bad. So, I would say this was a success, even though it, it's not like you're getting big yields, but you're not getting big yields, you're getting a small yield from a small input, and that's what I really like about it. I hope you have enjoyed. I think I'm gonna go inside and fry these up for lunch. Maybe have a, a fried egg with it as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.